it has 350 and 500 yard sights so crude adjustments mazel tov all right let's start at 150 impact got it all right that was on the basically your left right's perfect it's on like the lower third of the plate all right on a 200 Impact. Neutralized. All right, we're on at 250. Impact. Neutralized. I'm assuming you can probably hold almost dead on with this one. Yeah, I'll try to do that. All right, let's try 300. Okay. Look to be off the right side by my quarter target. Yeah, still about a half target right, but your elevation's good. Still off the right side. Impact. Neutralized. That one's probably actually one of the more challenging targets because it's the half size target. So if you're not a perfect hold, it's. Yeah, yeah. All right, out for 350. Impact. Uh, that second shot was right under it, I think. It might have even hit it and hit the dirt, but I uh, don't know where the third shot went. Let's uh, send one more. Yeah, low, low by about maybe a quarter target length. That's it. Okay. So with the wind, I'm actually favoring not quite all the way on the front side post to to, uh, to the left, but somewhere in between the midpoint and the edge of the front side yeah. post for it to hit. Yeah. It's surprising it hit low though for that one. I thought if anything, it would hit perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit low. Yeah, that's it. I'll switch to 500 sights and try to aim for the lower quadrant. Of gotcha, gotcha. The sky. Impact. Neutralized. Okay. Kind of goes to show you that like the six o'clock holds can be really valuable. Yeah. For Just low. Okay. That was good elevation on the right edge. All right, that one passed him on the left by about a half target length or so. Elevation again, good. Impact. Get that storm blowing in here. The wind is uh, yeah, I'm a little erratic. Yeah, significantly more to the left. Yeah, it's it's coming in gusts. Unfortunately, it's not very consistent. I to like it looked like it was movement on this thing. The camera's shaking so bad right now because of the wind. It's like 
You want to try the, um, man? Try the silhouette to the left, the one that doesn't have the center hole in it. All right, so we're gonna go out to 500 onto the uh, C-Zone silhouette off to the left here. Okay. Yeah, that way we can at least try to call these because the, is this 55 grain ammo? Yes. Yeah, it's just, um, I'm not being able to see calls, especially with the wind kind of blowing the camera about at, uh, on the gong. So let's try the uh, C-Zone. 500. <laughs> Try the gong again. Well, that's disappointing. So, a very iconic rifle, an old design, an old rifle, but a very iconic one. You know, Again, I think, like you said, it, it, this aligns very similarly with how how we saw the the foul paratrooper perform. And so far as you know, when you're not being able to use a graduated sight that adjusts with each range, you're implicitly more limited. And there's got to be some guesswork slash there's got to be some experience or training on the platform. One of the two. For us, it's guesswork because it's a. It's, it's the first time we're we're running this, right? Right. It's not a it's not a rifle that we're familiar with. It's one that we've uh, got on on loan, mm -hmm. um, and so it's something where you know maybe we've got what you had maybe thirty rounds through the thing before you no, took it out here. That. Yeah, just, just zero. So the part of that is, I think it highlights the necessity of training on a platform with these you know two setting apertures. Right. Oh, entirely. Right. Entirely. Yeah. When I zeroed it, it actually printed a decent size grouping. Yeah, a grouping so, that should theoretically have been able to clear the range. Right. But so again, it, it comes down to an issue with it. And it's funny because we see this with a lot of the rifles that come out and don't necessarily clean the course. We usually come down to saying, man, I wish the sighting system was a little bit different. Because mm -hmm. if it were, we feel like the rifle's capability would be enhanced. Yeah. We do have one more thing to test in the field for this particular rifle. Ah, brilliant. One for you. One for me. Lachaim. Cheers.